So I had a lovely lunch today here at Adelshaw Goddard and great thanks to them for their hospitality with the AEBA audience talking about how optimism can triumph against pessimism. My core message was, as a businessman, we need to look on the positives and see how we can apply the positives to our competitive advantage. And unfortunately, so much of what happens in our worlds these days is negative and is therefore undermining our competitive advantage. And at the end of the day, you, to win, you have to compete. We've got into this habit in the country of trying to persuade the government to do something so we can then do something we think makes sense. And I, I'm very fond of reminding people of that cartoon from my young days in business of two vultures standing on a tree branch. And one says to the other, I'm sick and tired of waiting for something to die. Let's go and kill something. My argument to business is let's just get on with things. We don't need to go to nanny state to ask them to make something change so we can make something happen. We've got so much power, so much influence. Let's just get on with it. I'm very keen that Business London, of which I am chairman, moves from being a think tank to being more of a do tank. One of the other things that I'm very, very keen on in London is we have knee-deep talent. I'm very privileged as Lord Lieutenant to travel out and from away from the centre and the city to visit schools and uh, colleges and, and uh, youth clubs and so on. I see so much energy, so much capable talent. But lots of people who don't think a job in business, a job in the city, a job in a, a professional services firm is for them. And so they aren't quite sure what they're going to do, but they have no aspiration. And we need to conquer that by lifting young people's aspirations. Thank you.